guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are now going to start our topic about reinforcing. So we are now done with the floors and slabs uh, series of video. So this time around, let's start talking about reinforcing. So for the first topic, we are going to talk about how to create or how to add rebar to your foundation. Okay, this is a very uh, simple video to help us how to create a rebar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select level 1 here. So just double click level 1. And then I'm just going to zoom into this area. So since I'm going to create just a simple uh, typical foundation detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the section tool. Just click that. And then go to the properties. You can change the type of the section that you'll be creating. Let's say I'm going to create a detail view. So I'll just select the detail. Okay, and then I'll just pick one point here and then another point here. There you go, and then modify. Okay, so let me just tidy up this by breaking this. Okay, I do not want to have an overlapping to the element. Okay, so I now have my uh, section view here. So I'm going to double click the head here to open the detail view. There you go. And then let us change the scale here. So let's change the scale, uh, let's say half of an inch to one foot. I think that one is fine. All right, so as you can see here, our slab edge and then our basic wall foundation, they are kind of overlapping. So I'm just going to modify that. Go to modify and then let's use the join geometry. All right, so click the join geometry and then let's join that one. So you click that and then you click this one too. There you go. And then let's change the detail level. So instead of uh, coarse, let's change that to fine. There you go. All right. And then just select your modify. Now let us add here a couple of rebar. So how to do that? So you just need to go to the structure tab, reinforcement panel. You can see there the rebar, structural rebar. So it places planar, multiplanar, or freeform rebar. So just click that. Okay, so once you see this dialog box, just select OK. So we'll be able to select from the rebar shape browser the different types of the rebar that uh, you want to place on your model. Okay, so in my case, I'll just use the basic one. So I'll just use this one, rebar shape 00. And then you can also change here the size of your rebar. Okay, right. So another thing that you need to consider is the placement. So I'm going to use the current work plane uh, placement and then for the placement orientation, I'll be using the parallel to work plane option. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. So you just need to hover your pointer. So let me just put one here and then let me put another one here, just a couple of rebar. So you get the idea. Okay, and then after that, you just need to select here, modify. Okay, so there you go. Now, another thing that I'm going to do for this detail, let's say, for example, I want to edit the profile of my wall foundation, this one. So let's say I want to create here a typical um, keyway. So for you to be able to modify the profile of this, you can go to the uh, View tab. And then after that, there is from the graphics, you can see the cut profile. So you just need to select that one. Okay, and then after that, from the options bar, so instead of face, you can use boundary between faces. So, so click that one. And then let's click this line here. Click that. Once you click, you will now be going to modify create cut profile sketch. So we will be using the line tool here. And then um, let me just pick a point here. So you can specify the distance. So let's say, for example, uh, 3 inches. Okay, so I pick. And then after that, so you can specify the length and then the angle. So let's say uh, 2 inches at 60 degrees. So I can just click here. And then after that, modify. Then you can mirror this to the other side. So you just need to click that. Mirror, pick axis, 
you click that grid there you go and then you just need to close it so you just use the line again you close this one to this one okay there you go and then after that just select your finish there you go okay so that's how you create a keyway by editing the profile of your wall foundation okay so one last thing you might want to control the visibility of your rebar you do not want to show this in every section so let's say you only want to show this on your uh, detail view so what you can do is uh, you can click the couple of the the two rebar click and then hold control to select the other one and then you can specify the visibility here from the properties you can modify the visibility you can select edit and then so we want to see that on our detail view okay but I don't want to see that on my section one and then on my section one call out okay so I only want to see that in my detail view okay and then uh, I'm going to select here okay and then let's change the name of this view sorry the name of this view is just detail zero so let's change that so let's put here typical foundation detail okay of course you can add more details but in my case I'll just use this detail apply and there you have it okay so basically that's a simple way to create your rebars to add rebar to your model and then edit the profile of your wall foundation to create a keyway okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.